Hey makers, it's Brie from Minerva. Today I'm here to share with you my top picks for a spring capsule wardrobe. As always, everything we're talking about will be in the description below. So if you're unfamiliar with a capsule wardrobe, it's four to eight items that all correspond together around a theme or a function. In this case, spring. So I've got some beautiful fabrics with bright colors, beautiful florals, and some patterns perfect for the warmer weather. I've got a blouse, a pair of trousers, a knit top, a wrap skirt, and a dress. So first up is the blouse, and I have a perfect fabric picked out. This is a Lady McElroy cotton lawn, and the print is called Fashionista Blooms. I think this is so perfect for building a spring wardrobe around because it has so, so many gorgeous colors, and that's gonna make it a really great cornerstone for our capsule wardrobe. So it's 100% cotton, and cotton lawn is just a really wonderful fabric as far as texture goes. It has a really lovely crispness, but will still drape really nicely. So for the pattern, I have picked Simplicity 8736. Now it's a vintage reproduction pattern. It's from the 40s, but the details of it are so on trend. So I would combine view A to have the nice Peter Pan collar with the ruffle. Those are everywhere right now. Um, and then also view B for the long sleeves, because I really like a longer sleeve um, in the springtime. Um, and these bishop sleeves are just perfect. So next up is trousers, and I have another Lady McElroy fabric. But this one is 100% linen in this really lovely blue and white stripe. I love this fabric because from far away, it just looks like a simple light blue. Um, but as you get closer, you see how vibrant um, that blue actually is. So it's a really, it gives it a really lovely dimension. It has a really nice drape while still keeping some structure and it's totally opaque, making it really great for trousers. So the pattern I've chosen for this is the Megan Nielsen opal pants and shorts. So this is another one where I would mix and match between views. So I love the tapered leg of view A, um, but the patch pockets from view C, and then I think I would leave off the paper bag waist by using um, the waistband and belt from view D to create a really nice uh, versatile pair of pants. Next up, we have an essential to any capsule wardrobe, a knit top. And for this, I've picked the John Caldor Monaco viscose jersey and in the colorway blush so this is a super super light really beautifully delicate viscose jersey it is 95 percent viscose and five percent elastane so it has some really nice recovery and it's going to be perfect for our pattern which is the friday pattern company adrian blouse so the adrian blouse is a really easy pattern to make it's a simple knit top, um, but what makes it really special are the voluminous sleeves. So again, this fabric is going to be so perfect for that billowiness. It's going to have a lot of drape and movement. Um, the sleeves are formed by an elastic channel here on the shoulder, and it finishes on the sleeve to give it that really nice, flowy, elevated look. So it's time to talk about the skirt, and I am so excited about this fabric. This is the Meat Milk Stretch Tensile Twill in the color Moss. And I am obsessed with this color. It is so beautiful and I want everything in my wardrobe made of this. It is so soft and so beautiful. So it's 98% tensile and 2% elastane. So it has a really nice subtle stretch to it. And the twill weave gives it a lot of dimension. Um, and kind of that, it still has that subtle sheen that you get with most tensile fabrics, but it is so soft. So the pattern I've chosen for this is the Fiore skirt from Closet Core Patterns. Now all the views of this skirt are beautiful, but I especially love the view B with the asymmetrical pocket and the wrap over with the little button. I think it's so pretty and so versatile. I think it's gonna be perfect with this fabric. It's gonna be such a versatile wardrobe staple. Um, and great for spring. I think the color is so perfect for cooler days. You can wear it on with tights. Um, and then as it gets warmer, um, bare legs are going to be perfect. I can just imagine sitting in the park at a picnic. Um, yeah, beautiful. Perfect. So the last item in the capsule is the dress. And for that, I have chosen this 
really gorgeous, super floaty, really romantic Lady McElroy Lena crepe. So this is in the print Bridal Chrysanthemums, and I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. It's a really large print, but it works because the colors are so soft um, and kind of have a watercolor effect. So it's 100% polyester and slightly sheer, so you may consider lining it. I love how floaty and soft it is. Um, it feels really good on the skin and it has a really beautiful movement, um, which is perfect for the pattern that I've picked to go with it, and that is the Sew Over It Eve dress. It's a really beautiful, versatile pattern. The version that I would choose has the flutter sleeves and the dipped hem. I think that's really going to amp up and play into the already really romantic vibes of this print. I think it's gonna make a really, really lovely dress. So those are my picks for a spring capsule wardrobe. Everything we talked about is going to be in the description below. I hope you're feeling inspired as we head into spring. Let us know what you're making. We'd love to hear from you. So that's all from me. Till next time, happy making. Mm -hmm.